Macro is another term for close-up photography. Normally, people shoot flowers and bugs, but anything you want to see in greater detail makes an excellent subject. The macro capability of the lens is often referred to as the magnification ratio. This is expressed in a ratio to something called life size. Life size means the subject is the same size on the sensor as it is in real life. The ratio of life size is one to one, but any lens with a one to four magnification ratio or quarter life size can be considered a macro lens. Take a look at the difference between quarter life size and true one to one macro. There are several things you should know about macro photography. First, getting close to your subject means you have a shallow depth of field, which also means focus is critical. If you want to increase your depth of field, you want to use a smaller aperture and slow down your shutter speed. Shooting close magnifies everything. That includes camera movement, so using a tripod is often necessary. With enough light and a fast enough shutter speed, you can sometimes hand hold. One of the most overlooked but important factors in macro photography is the background. With all the focus, literally, on your subject, the background is usually ignored. A careful choice of backgrounds can make or break your image. If you want to try macro photography with a dedicated macro lens, Tamron makes three. The classic 90, the 180, and the 60 f2.0.